Now, if these kind of shots are causing you to have all kinds of nightmares and palpitations when faced with them, then in today's video, I've got a very simple and effective solution that will get you chipping the ball better than ever from a number of different positions and lies. Now it is of course inevitable that in a round of golf you're going to be faced with the potential of a shot that you're a little bit uncomfortable with and often that can be when you've got a, a wedge in hand whatever that may be in terms of its loft but you've got a little bit of ground that perhaps you want to pop over extreme cases you've got some water you've got to get over or as we just showed on the previous shots you've got a bunker to get over not a lot of green to work with you want to be able to have a shot in the locker that allows you to pop the ball up in the air. It's a simple must. And we do all kinds of things to try and make this very, very complicated in terms of a process. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a very simple swing thought. It's all to do with the way you set your wedge up at address. It's yet another tip that defies what we expect to happen. In other words, we do something that suggests one thing and it actually does a complete other. How does that ball get popped up so high, so easy? Well, basically it's all about understanding bounce on your wedges and how to make it work in your favor. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna tilt effectively or present the leading edge of your wedge to the ball, suggesting almost like you're gonna thin it, blade it, but in fact, by using the bounce on the sole, it will help you produce the kind of shot that you've just seen in the video so far. Now, as with most tips that you will ever see featured on this channel, they're very simple, they're very straightforward, and they're very easy to execute. I don't like anything that overcomplicates things much like you. This tip comes from Mr. Short Game, and it's a video that I watched probably two years ago. It transformed the way I chipped the ball. It transformed my short game full stop. And what it meant was I became very confident in a swing that accelerated. I didn't decelerate, I didn't start stabbing at things. And I had confidence to let the club do what it is supposed to do in terms of that bounce. Now it's interesting to note that I'm using a club with very little bounce and it's a 52 wedge and all those shots that you've seen pop up suggest I was using maybe a 56 or 60. That's not the case, it's a 52 degree wedge. And like I said, it's got very little bounce on it either. It's not ideal even for the execution of this shot and the sort of wider width, plenty of bounce soles are certainly a better option. But what happens? Well, I said, it's all about the way you present the leading edge first of all. There's some close-ups now of how basically you're gonna feel like you're almost opening the club face up a little bit and hence that reason it suggests maybe there's a little bit more loft added and you present the leading edge almost what feels like halfway up the ball to me. And my immediate thought is that when I swing the club, what I'm gonna do is very much blade it. That's exactly what I'm expecting to see, thin one through the uh, green. And when I first tried this tip, it took a lot of convincing. And one of the things you must do is you've got to commit to it. And the way you're gonna move the, use the bounce rather, is you're gonna present the club, like I said, um, almost with the blade halfway up the, or the leading edge rather, halfway up the ball. And then what you're gonna do is when you take practice swings where you hit the ground in a spot that is behind the ball. And that's important. Yet again, trust me, this works. And you're gonna just hit, you're gonna feel the bounce of the club. That's all you're gonna do. It's that simple. I can do it with one hand. I'd like to even try executing the chip shot with one hand because I genuinely believe that's how effective this is. And it's important that, again, you get that motion. So just keep on practicing, hitting the ground, hitting the ground. Go to the ball and strike it with that exact same motion. So forget where the ball is. What I'm gonna do now is get to the ball and then I'm just gonna execute that. I wasn't, I'll tell you what, I wish I was aiming at the flag because that was perfect. But all I was thinking about there was not the ball. I was thinking about executing that little swing that little swing thought rather of using the bounce of the club and hitting just slightly behind the ball and for whatever reason 
and I always say this, I don't necessarily understand the science of how the golf swing works because I'm naturally assuming, like you, that I'm going to hit that with that leading edge and I'm going to fire it across there. It does the exact opposite. It gets a lovely connection underneath the ball and it just pops it up super high. And it can be used from a number of different positions. We naturally would play a chip and run from here or I would choose to play a chip and run, but um, whether you've got a sort of 50 yard, 60 yard wedge shot in, use this exact same principle. And as ever, I started this video or started this segment of the video saying we'll keep it nice and simple. I don't like complications and that's it. The video's done. Seriously, it's that easy. Present the club behind the ball with the leading edge, feeling like it's face, uh, it, it's, it's almost halfway up of the ball. Then take some practice swings and all you're going to do is that kind of motion and just use and feel the bounce. Step to the ball, execute that exact same swing that you've just done using the bounce. Trust it, do not decelerate, accelerate through the ball, let the club and the bounce do its thing and trust me, your chipping woes are over. 100% guaranteed. Go out and try it now. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, full instruction if you want it. Link down below. Mr. Short Game is who that came from originally. And uh, I think it was actually passed on from Bob Vokey to Mr. Short Game in a little lesson he had. So if it's uh, coming from Bob Vokey, I'm pretty much we can all trust it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.